So today we'll talk of biology doubts. Ready? Okay. So we're going to talk of biology doubts. So all the students across the country who's written to us uh, with all your queries of biology, this is the video for biology. We've passed on your questions to the experts, uh, the teachers, the moderators, and they're all going to solve it for you right here in the next couple of minutes. If you have more doubts, do send it to us on meritstore.in. In male, the essential hormone for secondary sexual characteristics is A. Testosterone, B. Progesterone, C. Estrogen, D. Relaxant. So the testosterone stimulates the development of male secondary sexual characters like beard, moustache, depending on deepening of the voice, broadening of shoulders, increased height, due to elongation of bones and increase the development of limbs. So these are secondary sexual characters in males which are carried out by androgen testosterone which is secreted by interstitial cells or cells of ladex. Two examples in which the nitrogenous waste are excreted from the body in the form of urine A. Birds and lizards B. Mammals and mollusks C. Insect and bony fishes D. Frogs and cartilaginous fishes Animals like birds and lizards which live in dry condition these are known as xerophytic animals have to conserve water for their survival so they secrete nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid as the excretion of uric acid requires minimum amount of water so option a is the correct answer two minute scales or lodules occur in lodicules are modified tepals that is perianth so two perianth polyphyllous small hyaline membrane anterior lateral scales called lodicules they are hairy or smooth whitish inferior occur in triticum estivum so option b is the correct answer in rabbit function of spleen is a blood purification c respiration d excretion d none of this so macrophages of spleen engulf and destroy worn out blood cells, dead and live pathogen cell debris that is cell waste, pigment granules and other useless particulate matter thus regularly cleaning the blood of its impurities. So it causes blood purification. Most effective wavelength of visible light in photosynthesis is in the region of A violet, B green, C yellow, D red. So there is a range of wavelength which is known as PAR. This is photosynthetically active radiation which falls under wavelength ranging from 400 to 700 nanometer. So this is photosynthetically active radiation. So blue and green region, blue and red of this photosynthetically active radiation of the light spectrum are the most effective in photosynthesis. Blue wavelength of light carry more energy while red wavelength has lesser energy. Therefore, the most efficient wavelength of light effective in photosynthesis are blue and red. So, the least energy which is most efficient for photosynthesis are those of light is red because it has least energy. First intermediate formed during photosynthesis is A. Fructose 1,6 diphosphate D. Ribulose 1,5 biphosphate C. Xylulose 5-phosphate D. Phosphoglyceraldehyde When three molecules of carbon dioxide combine with three molecules of ribulose biphosphate which is RUBP to produce three molecules 
ऑफ अनस्टेबल सिक्स कार्बन कंपाउंड विच इमिडिएटली ब्रेक डाउन इन टू मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ थ्री पी जी ए विच इज फॉस्फोग्लिसर एल डी हाइड सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेफ जीन अकर इन ए राइजोबियम बी एसपर गिलस सी पेनीसिलियम डी स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस नेफ जीन इज प्रेजेंट इन राइजोबियम इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सिंथिस ऑफ एंजाइम नाइट्रोजीनस दिस नाइट्रोजीनस कैन फिक्स एटमोस्फियरिक नाइट्रोजन राइजोबियम स्पीशीज लेग्यूमिनो सेरम bacteria is found symbiotically associated with root nodules of leguminous plant so rhizobium is nitrogen fixing gene option a pitcher plant is A herbivorous B carnivorous C saprotroph D all of this carnivorous plant are known as pitcher plant which are green plants they manufacture their food by themselves hence are autotrophic in nature they behave like heterotrophic organism for supplementing their nitrogen supply only through catching and digesting small animals like insect so pitcher plant are carnivorous option b drosera catches insect by means of a bladder b pitcher c tentacles secreting shining liquid d adhesive disc drosera is a herbaceous plant these long special hair are generally referred to as tentacles the glandular head of the tentacles secrete sticky juice so insect is attracted to the sticky fluid and tries to slit on the leaf it becomes entangled in this sticky liquid so option c is the correct answer during absorption of water by roots the water potential of the cell sap is lower than that of a solution outside b that of pure water c1 d none of this during absorption of water by roots the water potential of cell sap is lower than that of pure water due to higher osmotic pressure of water in root hair the water from soil passes into root hair from soil into the root hair so option b is the correct answer rate of tra- transpiration will be higher when a water vapor is saturated b water vapor saturation deficient more c water vapor pressure high d none of this relative humidity of atmospheric air governs its vapor pressure 
humidity of atmospheric air so it is controlled by humidity so vapor pressure deficit or dpd of water potential since dpd of atmospheric air is higher at low relative humidity more of water vapor will diffuse out of the leaf interior as compared to high rh when dpd is lower so option b is the correct answer so the assertion is dryopithecus africans is a common ancestor of man and great apes reason it give rise to ramapithecus so cro-magnon man emerged about 34100 years ago so this much years ago they emerged this is regarded as most recent ancestor of today's man therefore has been called homo sapiens fossalis the cro-magnon man was like about 1.8 meters tall were built body its face were perfectly orthognathous and with a narrow elevated nose broad jaws and arched forehead they have well developed chin its cranial capacity was somewhat between 1650 cc ours is 1400 cc the cro-magnon man was a direct ancestor of the living man so dryopithecus africanus they lived 25 million years ago it had a family frontly broadened eyes semi erect posture Dryopithecus africanus is regarded as common ancestor of man and great apes in late miocene epoch Dryopithecus gave rise to Ramapithecus so the assertion is true and the reason is also true but it is not the correct reason for assertion b is the correct answer assertion in the beginning the developed stage of embryos of animals are like reason ontogeny and capitulates phylogeny embryology is the study of development of animals from egg to adult so when we compare the development stages of starfish a beetle a fowl and a dog are found to be alike in the beginning therefore several stages up to gastrula later the embryo being to diverge from each other on the basis of developmental history of animals heckel postulated his famous recapitulating theory or biogenetic law proposed by heckel so recapitulates phylogeny ontogeny means embryogenic development of organisms and recapitulate phylogeny means evolutionary history of the race or phylum this simply means the embryo in the development repeat the evolutionary history of their ancestor in abbreviated form therefore early developmental stage of embryo are alike in different animals so assertion is true and reason is the correct reason for the given assertion answer a is the correct option so how is it going tell me is that helping you uh, we have more yeah so i hope you are sitting not just listening like in paper pen leke baith ke question ko dekhne ke baad i hope you've paused the video you've solved it yourself and after you've solved it you've seen the solution and you've revised it i hope that's the way you're doing it right it's not about listening kya fayda sun ke so i hope you're doing it the right way it's not a video to simply view it's a video to be practiced so do it the right way so like you know bio is easy and maximum of bio you must be studying from the ncert but fir bhi there are some questions which students have doubts which is what we've uh, sharing with you uh, just now and uh, which will continue even after i go from here so uh, continue with uh, focusing on biology assertion is malarial fever appear to merozoite stage of the plasmodium reason is the infectious stage of the plasmodium is sporozoite when the mosquito bites human sporozoite present in the salivary gland of female anopheles mosquito are injected into the blood of man the erythrocytic schizonts give rise to merozoites malarial fever occur when schizonts in rbc burst and set free 
their contaminated merozoite and malarial pigment hemozoin in the blood plasma bursting of schizons tends to be synchronous as they all burst at the same time hemozoin is said to be toxic so includes high fever shivering it is yellow brown to blackish in color so assertion is true malarial fever at the merozoite stage of the plasmodium when it bursts the rbc its infective stage is plasmodium which is true but not the correct reason so option b is the correct answer assertion is birds can maintain a constant body temperature reason birds possess feathers covering their body so birds have constant body temperature which mainly remains 104 degree to 112 degree fahrenheit even in sub zero weather they are called homeothermal mammals are also homeothermals the feathers serve the most important function of retention of heat because the plumage form an efficient non conduction covering which is its innumerable dead air spaces useful as insulation so in cold weather heat loss is reduced to maintain by fulfilling out the feathers so feathers are important covering insulation which increases the depth of insulating material by adding air space with feathery layers in warm weather feathers are often held close to the body to allow some escape of heat from the body so assertion is true and reason is the correct reason for the given assertion annual rings are bands of a secondary cortex and cork b secondary vascular tissue c secondary xylem and medullary rays d secondary phloem and medullary rays so spring wood plus autumn wood of a year constitutes the annual ring spring wood and autumn wood is the type is the part of the secondary xylem formed during the spring and autumn the amount of wood is affected by the activity of cambium which is the secondary tissue so secondary vascular tissue what name has been assigned to genus produced by cross between cabbage and radish a sikel b brusa pastoris c lysogenicophile d raphanobrassica raphanobrassica triticale and bromato are some of the intergeneric hybrids raphano brassica is for cabbage and is the result of distinct cross between raphanas which is radish and brassica which is cabbage option d is the correct answer flowers and lateral branches arise from a lateral bud b lenticels c stomata d cuticle flower and lateral branches are usually developed from branches from a bud growing in the axil of smaller leaf like structure known as bract such buds are known as lateral or axillary buds buds are condensation of stem option a is the correct answer a plant which lives for a few days is called a annual b perennial c biennial d ephemeral a plant which lives for a few days is ephemeral because of very short growing season such plants are found near desert or in a very cold countries example of ephemeral are arabidopsis species have a life span of around 20 to 28 days annual plant which lives for one year perennial plant which lives for around about 200 years biennial plant live for 2 years So option D is the correct answer.
which of the following position is the base to define the formation of the place of cell plate at the end of nuclear division a microtubules b vesicles c endoplasmic reticulum d golgi vesicles provide by golgi apparatus unite to form phragmo plast which join to form cell plate cell plate is first laid down in the center and then proceeds towards the periphery for cell division so vesicles which are formed at the end of the cell division forming cell plate bright color of the ripe fruit is due to a leucoplast b chloroplast c amyloplast d chromoplast green color of the plant is due to chlorophyll which is present in chloroplast plastids have leucoplast chloroplast and chromoplast chromoplast develop from proplastid leucoplast and chloroplast so transformation of chloroplast is formed during ripening of fruit which is tomato and chili when they change their color from green to reddish orange so option d is the correct answer flagella with single strand and composed of flagellin is found in a prokaryote b eukaryote c both a and b d none of this microtubule show array of 13 rows subunit which are known as protofilament have diameter of 5 to 7 nanometer the single strand of flagella occur in prokaryotes example bacteria they contain only single strand and not contain 9 plus 2 system so option a is the correct answer which is the correct statement a pteridophyte and gametophyte has a protonemal and leafy stage b in gymnosperm gametophyte is free living c anthidiophores and archegoniophores are present in pteridophyte d origin of seed habit can be traced to pteridophytes so mosses of bryophytes bear protonemal and leafy stage so this is a false statement so mosses of bryophyta gymnosperm female gametophyte is not free living they are present in mercantia of bryophyta are anthidiophore and archegoniophore so it is present in bryophyta not in pteridophytes and origin of seed habitat started in Selaginella, which is a pteridophyta, which is the correct statement. Option D. Match the correct pair. Cyanophyceae, Chlorophyceae, Phyophyceae, Rhodophyceae. Green color, blue color, blue green, red, and brown. So Cyanophyceae, which is the blue green algae, is due to present of pigment phycobilin. Pigment C. cyanophycin of phyo cyanin and then comes chlorophycin which is green color due to presence of chlorophyll a b xanthophylls and carotenes phyophycin which is brown in color due to phycoxanthin and rhodophycin which is red due to presence of red pigment phyophycin red in the chromatophores so correct option is option c the ferns in which the entire sporangium develop from a single superficial cell of sporophyll are known as 
ए लैपटॉप पर एनजीएट बी यूज पर एनजीएट सी यूनिस पर एनजीएट डी मीजोस पर एनजीएट सच एस पर एनजीएम अराइज फ्रॉम अ सिंगल सुपरफिशियल इनिशियल्स इट डिवाइड्स पेरी क्लिनिकली इनटू आउटर एंड इनर कंपार्टमेंट वाइल द इनर फॉर्म द स्टार्क the outer give rise to sporangium proper in merathria the sporangium is sorus may fuse to form sign and joy So option A is the correct answer. Animal possesses nerve network or nervous system to respond to environment, but a single cell amoeba does not possess any nerve cell. So how to come to know whether the particle it encounters is a grain or a sand and not a dinner? A chemo taxes, B skin, C hormones, D all of this. Although amoeba has no sense organs. it responds to chemicals in sti- stimuli it makes to determines by chemotaxis a kind of chemical sense this is the same response mechanism that our wbc which is leukocytes use when to encounter of phagocytos the pathogen so option a chemotaxis is the correct answer sinking of zooplankton during the day and rising at the surface at night is an example of a circadian rhythm b circadian rhythm d tidal rhythm d none circadian rhythm also known as diurnal rhythm in any 24 hour periodicity periodicity it is the behavior of physiology of animals or plants examples are the sleep activity cycle in many animals and the growth movements of plants circadian rhythm are generally controlled by biological clock that's why the acth hormone level remains high in the morning and declines during the night this is due to circadian rhythm option a given below are four matchings of an animal and its kind of respiratory organ a silver fish which has trachea b scorpion which has book lungs uh, third is sea squirt which has pharyngeal gills and d dolphins through skins so silver fish belong to class insecta in which respiratory organ is trachea scorpion belong to arachnid which respiratory organ is book lungs skirt or herd mania belong to urocordata which respiratory organ is pharyngeal gills so option c is the correct answer so how did it go <laughs> so bio was easy so well it's over it's finished uh, i hope you learn well and if you need more queries do let us know in the description and also let us know how did you like it subscribe to the channel like hit like and good luck for your biology examination your your latest examination coming up good luck for that